Hey there, Tiffany here with Years of Years, and it's this day in Disney for October 16th. And starting off, we're headed to 1925. On this day, actress Angela Lansbury, the voice of Mrs. Potts, of course, in Disney's Beauty and the Beast, and the star of Bedknobs and Bruce Broomsticks, is born in Regent's Park, London, England. So, of course, we talked about bed knobs and broomsticks uh, just recently, and um, so we talked about Angela Lansbury a little bit, and today's her birthday, so that's pretty exciting and cool, and of course, we love her as Mrs. Potts and in bed knobs and broomsticks, but um, she had a huge career. Um, with Disney, she also hosted a segment of Fantasia 2000, and with a, her career spanned over seven decades. That's so impressive. What a hard working lady. Um, Lansbury is perhaps best known for her role as writer Jessica Fletcher in Murder, She Wrote, which is such an iconic show for her and so fun. Um, so right now, actually, she is recognized currently as the earliest surviving Academy Award uh, nominee and one of the last surviving uh, stars from the golden age of Hollywood. So that's pretty neat. Um, so way back in the beginning of her career, um, after moving to New York uh, with her mom and two brothers, they were escaping the 1940 Blitz in London. So they were trying to get away from all that was happening with the war and they came to New York. She studied acting and she actually signed with Metro Goldwyn Mayer and her first films were Gaslight in 1944 and The Picture of Dorian Gray in 1945, which I find extremely interesting. Those are very dramatic roles. Um, in particular, Gaslight, that's a term that's that's used today and it you know goes all the way back to this um, 1938 story and then the film in 1944 which she starred in so she actually won two Oscar nominations for that and a Golden Globe um, for those films and that was the beginning of her career pretty impressive uh, her first American character was M in the Harvey Girls, a Wild West musical. So right there, we're already seeing her diversity in character because here, those two films I previously mentioned are so dramatic and she did really well, obviously winning awards for that. And then to be able to turn around and <laughs> later be in a Wild West musical, <laughs> that's impressive. Um, her career was extensive and there's so much that I could share and I encourage you, to, encourage you to go look up all the films and TV shows she was in um, throughout her career. She did so, so much. Uh, big roles and small roles. Um, but she was later, she before she was even older, she was typecast um, often as an older lady and um, she said Hollywood made me older before my time so <laughs> that stinks a little but also maybe it helped her to be able to continue to do all these different roles and you know she's still there doing work now so she also said in Hollywood I always felt like a stranger in a strange land which I'm sure many people could say, but that's how she felt. Um, she actually lived uh, in the 70s. Her and her husband moved, and one of their sons moved to uh, rural County Cork in Ireland, and they actually commuted back and forth from Ireland to, to New York. I'm pretty sure she lived there most of the rest of her life. So, um, you know, just a small town and she loved it because they just knew her as Mrs. Lansbury and that was it. It wasn't the stardom stuff that you deal with uh, in Hollywood or New York, you know, she could get away from that. So it was pretty clever of her, of course. Um, so this quote says, in a career stretching from uh, ingenue to dowager, from elegant heroine to 
uh, deprived villainous, Lansbury was displayed uh, durability and flexibility, as well as a highly admired worth work ethic. And you can just totally believe that of her. And that's from the o Oxford Companion to Theater and Performance in 2010. Just a really, really classy lady, really impressive, great role model for young girls. Maybe if you haven't heard of her and, and um, go look her up. Go look up the shows and movies and things that she was in. Of course, if you're a Disney fan, you're gonna know her from Mrs. Potts, a perfect little, <laughs> um, perfect song and scene. In fact, our daughter played Mrs. Potts and I was so happy because that was my favorite song from Beauty and the Beast and to have our daughter play that role when she was in high school, um, you know, it makes me cry. And every time I hear the song, when I hear Angela Lansbury sing it, it always thinks, makes me think of my daughter. <laughs> and so it's just, it has a special meaning to me and, and to our family, of course. But um, yeah. Go check out her career, it was awesome. And next up on this day in Disney, at the Disney Legend Ceremony and Luncheon in 1998 at the Walt Disney Studios in Burbank, two Disney Alices join the group of Disney Legends. The first one is Virginia Davis, and she is considered to really be the first Disney star. Um, she was hired by, at the time, Walt Disney, who was 21 years old, and that was in Kansas City, and she was hired to be Alice in the Alice Comedies. And then the second Alice is Catherine Beaumont Levine, whose voice and personality were essential parts of Disney's Alice in Wonderland. They're both inducted as Disney legends. Really, really cool. And at the same time, in 1998, a new Disney Legends Plaza is dedicated at the Walt Disney Studios to commemorate the 75th fifth anniversary of the Walt Disney Company and um, the statue there there's actually a large replica statue um, of the Disney Legends Award and it is added to the plaza so there's bronze plaques uh, 258 luminaries who have entered um, as Disney Legends so really, really cool way to honor all the people who contributed to Walt Disney Studios. And it was a very special day there in 1998. And we've talked about many Disney legends on here. And of course, both those Alice's deserved it. But I just thought it was so fun to hear about um, Virginia Davis, especially being the first Disney star. So sweet. And just what a great history. <laughs> So that's it for this day in Disney. I hope you had fun. Thank you for coming along and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.